Hi, I wanted to provide a quick overview of the EC Tool app that's used for provisioning the VTEC W960 wireless thermostat. So, first, what you'll need to do is you need to go to the Play Store, search VTEC EC Tool, and you'll see that app pops up. You can see that it's installed on this device already, so I can just open it right here from the store. And the app will launch right away. So once at, the, at this point, it's important that you know before you go in to create your profiles what types of systems you have on your property. Uh, if you have uh, conventional systems, which are one stage heat, one stage cool, two fan systems, you can create one profile that is used uh, for all, all of your thermostats. Um, if you happen to have a heat pump, you'll need to create a special heat pump profile. Uh, and if you have, happen to have a mix, then you'll need to create two profiles. You need to create one for your conventional systems and one for your heat pumps. So I'll go ahead and start. We'll create a conventional system profile. So I'll tap the plus down the bottom right corner of the display. And we're going to start creating our new profile. So first thing I want to do is I'll rename this, uh, let's call it conventional PTAC. We'll name that conventional PTAC. Um, so for the wiring configuration, this is going to be a conventional system. So we'll select conventional. I know that this is a one stage heat, one stage cool system. I'll select that, hit next. And I'll select the fan speeds or supported or two fan speeds. Select that. Um, for occupancy output, this is if you want to use the occupancy detection to um, help support other systems or turn other systems on and off based on the occupancy. Um, in this application, we don't need this, so I'll say no. Hit next. So now what you'll see is a wiring diagram for your system. This is what you'll uh, you'll follow this as you go to wire your controller to the, uh, the PTAC itself. You can scroll and see the, the different wires and, and what terminals they, that they connect to. We'll hit tap next. And this is a compressor selection. It's just confirming that you're a conventional system um, and you'll leave compressor short cycle on. This is a really a protection to keep uh, to prevent damage to your system in the long term, uh, it'll just delay delay the compressor for three minutes. We'll go ahead and leave that on. Hit next, and we'll go into system settings. Okay, within system settings, you can, if you would like, if you could, you can actually adjust the scale, uh, meaning what's going to be displayed for for the guest. Uh, we would like to leave it in Fahrenheit. Right. Um, then room temperature calibration. It gives you the option to adjust in case you find that your your thermostat needs to be calibrated a little bit. Uh, you can adjust that uh, up or down a couple degrees. Uh, you really shouldn't need to to mess with that. Um, is and then the stage differentials. This is just. Uh, when when the the compressor or the heat's going to kick in, it's going to be within a half a degree of the uh, of the target temperature. We'll tap next. Now we'll review the set points. So for comfort set point, this is the default uh, temperature. When you turn the system on, this will be the first uh, temperature setting that is seen by the guest. So if you'd like to change that, if you if you'd like to maintain 74 as you know the default um, temperature, you can leave that alone. If you'd like to adjust that, you just click the arrow on the right, and it will allow you to adjust that temperature to wherever you would like it to be. Just hit the check to uh, accept that. For auto mode dead band, this is the temperature range in auto. Whenever it's set to auto mode, that neither the heat or the, nor the cooling will turn on. So uh, if the auto dead band is set to six degrees, that means really in auto mode, it will not change to cool until the room hits 74. 7 degrees. Um, I typically like to adjust the auto mode dead band down to 2 or 4 degrees. That means it would go, say, 2 degrees would be 1 degree above or 1 degree below the target temperature. So I'll set that to 2. 
and then your set points. So there are three different modes supported by this thermostat. You can have auto mode, the, the guest can set it to heat, or the guest can set it to cool. Now, the temperature range that's displayed or available to the customer is set here. So in auto mode, we will allow them to adjust it all the way up to 80 degrees and all the way down to a minimum of 65 degrees. Again, if you'd like to adjust that, just hit the arrow, you can adjust it there and accept the change. Um, the defaults, um, I'm, I like the default settings here, so I'm going to leave them alone, but this is where you would make those changes. Tap, tap next. Override mode uh, is now, if you happen to have your temperature threshold set very tight, um, say that you'd set it 78 degrees and the guest wants it to 80 degrees. Um, an override mode, what it'll allow them to do is press and hold an up or down arrow key to adjust the temperature. If they hold it for three seconds, it will go into override mode and allow them to adjust beyond your temperature threshold or your set points. Um, the override timeout is how long will it allow it to override. So if a guest is has a, a setting of, you have the setting, the maximum setting at 78, the guest wants it set to 80, they can do that uh, using the override, but it will only override for 30 minutes. Okay, and then the next setting is protection set point. This is really for extreme conditions. If you're concerned about the room freezing or overheating, uh, you have the ability to go in and set heat and cool set points. Uh, in this case, I know that the, uh, the PTAC actually supports that on its own, so we're going to just turn that off. Go to next. Here's where you have an opportunity to adjust the, the fan settings. So if you happen to have a, a PTAC that supports gas heat, um, you would be able to tap here to change that from uh, electric to gas heat. Um, all of ours are electric, so I'll leave that alone. Uh, and it reconfirms that, the, that this is a two fan speed setup, or two, two fan speed profile. Uh, below that, you'll have the opportunity to make adjustments to the to the sounds that are heard at the at the thermostat itself. So we I like to leave these as default, where you'll hear hear the key tones. Uh, it'll sound error tones and uh, a reset tone. I, I don't think the confirmation tones are necessary, so I like to leave these as default. Tap next. Okay, so now we'll want to configure the occupancy detection for the system. So the thermostat itself has a built-in PIR sensor that's used to detect body heat and motion and use that input uh, to determine whether the room is occupied or not. Um, if you'd like to disable the occupancy detection, no problem. In your profile, you can turn that off here. Uh, I'd like to leave it on, so we'll go ahead and, and go through and configure the rest. So what we'll set up is the incidental occupancy threshold. This is how quickly will the system recognize body heat and go into occupied mode. Um, I like to leave that at zero because I would like instant, uh, the instant it detects body heat to turn on. Um, if you'd like, you can adjust that to change that to one, two, or three minutes. Um, again, I like to leave that at zero. The occupancy threshold is set at 60 minutes. So this is the time that when when system when the system detects occupancy it will run for 60 minutes before it checks for occupancy again. It will consider the room occupied for that 60 minutes. Um, again you can adjust that time frame anywhere from you want it to check every 30 minutes um, all the way up to 105 minutes. Leave that at 60. And then for night occupancy. So this is uh, the time frame in which the system, if it detects occupancy at a certain time in the evening, uh, it will consider the room occupied overnight and it will hold that temperature throughout the night so that when people get under the covers, bundle up, um, you, the PIR sensor maybe can't see them or can't detect their body heat, so we'll, we'll want to hold that temperature overnight to prevent them from becoming uncomfortable. So um, the night occupancy threshold, 
Again, we set that to zero minutes, so at 2100 hours or 9 p.m., if there's any body heat detected, uh, it will instantly go into occupancy, uh, occupied mode. Um, and it will hold that until 9 a.m. So it will hold, night occupancy begins at 2100 and ends at 9 a.m. If you would like, you can adjust that there in the settings. Uh, cycle minimizer, I like to leave that uh, enabled. And then the you can adjust here your unoccupied heat set points and your unoccupied cool set points if you wish. And then we'll tap next. Okay, for the pin code, this is your security pin for your system. So the default pin that's assigned in the factory are four zeros. You'll have the opportunity here to reset that pin code if you'd like. This would uh, prevent someone from easily downloading the app and going in and reprogramming the system. Uh, they would need to have that pin code uh, match in order to access and update the, the profile in the thermostat. Um, if you'd like to update your pin, you'll just tap here and input your pin. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave it as the default and hit save. And once I hit save, my profile is now stored. So at this point, your profile is saved in your pro list of profiles. So if you happen to have other profiles that you had programmed before, they would appear here, uh, probably above or below this uh, conventional PTAC uh, profile that you've created. Uh, if you need to create additional profiles, you can do that here by tapping the plus down in the bottom right corner and then follow the instructions for creating the new profile or if you'd like to go in and take use that profile now to provision a thermostat you'll go back to the main page by click back and you'll see installation you'll tap installation you'll see which profile you would like to install I've only got one profile here, so I'm going to install the on a conventional PTAC. I'll, I'll tap install, and then you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions for provisioning that thermostat. You can also use the app to access support documentation, such as product user guides or, or brand-specific installation instructions. Uh, in order to access that information, you can go to the menu up in the top right corner of the display, tap Menu. Tap about the app, and then you'll see a user manuals link. Just tap that, and then tap to go to the support link. And what this will do, it's a redirect to the product page where you can access product user guides or brand specific installation instructions. And then if you are still having difficulty, you can scroll to the bottom of the page, and you can find our customer support number, as well as a customer support email in this location here. We hope you found this information helpful, but if you need additional support, don't hesitate to reach out to us at uh, support at vtechhotelphones.com so we can be of assistance. Thank you very much.